We had a world bantamweight WBO championship fight on the undercard of Charlo's, the Charlo doubleheader. We had champion John Rail Casimero, WBO champ versus up and coming Duke Micah, okay? This is at 118, 118 pounds. Look, Duke Micah came out. He came out pressing. He had a jab. He was moving. He was moving, but Casimero started digging to the body early. He was, he came out very fast. I'm gonna tell you, he came out very fast. And you know i could tell right away michael wasn't comfortable he's kind of nervous you know he was kind of nervous he was trying to establish himself but he was getting hit with those body shots which forced him into a firefight which forced him to come out of his bag early forced him to exchange heavy shots in the first round i don't know why michael played into that uh pace he should have slowed it down but it's easier said than done i mean uh, credit to john royal casimero he came out banging to the body and then you know he ended up he ended up dropping uh, Micah in the second round uh, with a with a, a lot of combinations. And the guy he goes to the body, he goes to the head. I mean, and they're all flush flush shots. They're all hard shots. He rocked Micah, dropped him. Micah got back up. Now my problem is Micah wasn't holding. I don't know what what uh what Rozier, his trainer's telling him. He's not telling him to hold. Like I mean, but you know Micah's young, no experience. He, he maybe just didn't have the experience and wherewithal to hold. But he 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 was all over the place. He was surviving because he has heart. Micah had showed a lot of heart. But the inexperience to not hold and to gain, regain his uh his consciousness, regain his, his stability, he, he couldn't do it. He was in there still trying to swing. He was swinging. He could have even, you know, it's just inexperience. That's what I chalk it up to. But, you know, Casimir, he was still firing him. He was composed and then came that third round where he just, he put it on Micah, man. It ended up the referee, Steve Willis, came in and stopped the fight. You know, it was a unfortunate event, you know, because I thought Micah was going to come in and this is his shot. But, you you know, being that his last five fights weren't, his, his last five fights wasn't against anyone of notice, it didn't prepare him well. And then Rozier, I don't know what Rozier is telling him, but it's just they didn't have a good game plan because you know Casimir was going to come out flaming. So what's your game plan? What's your counterattack to that? It was not good. I don't know if Micah's a good fit for Rozier. Rozier is having a bad little track record with these with our Ghanaian brothers and with our Ghanaian fighters. I mean, first it was Kome, now it's uh, Duke Micah. I mean, I don't think Rozier is, is a good fit for Micah because he, he basically the, the, the game plan was not was not right. You don't exchange fire with a firefighter. You just can't do that. You know, this real Ghana boxing man. I'm, Micah's young. He'll bounce back, but yeah, he needs the experience to know to hold when he's in bad shape and to not go into another man's pace that was that wasn't his pace that wasn't his kind of fight you know this is a real kind of boxing man salute to uh casa mayor uh respect to micah hopefully he bounced back